Okay, so in today's lesson, uh, we discussed uh, estimation and reasonableness, taking a look at uh, some algorithms, and rounding some numbers. Um, the reason why we're going to do this, we're going to round our factors and come up with an estimate, because this is going to give us a good indication of how close we are to our actual product after uh, working some pretty long algorithm. Okay, it's nice to have a quick check to see is my algorithm answer my exact product close to uh, the actual answer um, and the indicator being that I'm going to take an estimate. I'm going to take 312, I'm going to round it to 300. I'm going to take 149, I'm going to round it to 100. I'm going to multiply those first and I get an answer of about 30,000 so my, my exact product should be somewhere in the ballpark of 30,000. The other thing we discussed is, well, is that estimate going to be greater than or less than my actual? Or is my actual going to be greater than or less than uh, my estimate? And how do we know? Well, in this case, I'm taking 312 and I'm rounding down to 300. I'm taking 149 and I'm rounding down to 100. Now, if I'm multiplying those two numbers, they're lower than, they're lower than my actual number. So my product for my estimate is lower than my actual, or my actual answer is going to be greater than my estimate, simply because these numbers are greater than what I rounded. All right, taking a look at another problem that's very similar to this. Over here, notice I'm taking 428, and that's going to round to 400. I'm rounding down 637, and that's going to become 600. Again, I'm rounding down. So the number I get here as an estimate is going to be lower than my actual product. And the reason why? Because I'm lowering both numbers. I'm, no, I'm lowering both factors. I'm taking 428, I'm making it 400. I'm taking 637, I'm making that 600. Uh, so my estimate is going to be lower or my actual is going to be a higher number or higher value because those numbers are both higher. Now it gets a little confusing here, or a little tougher to tell because in this case I'm taking 400, I'm sorry, 743, I'm lowering that number to 700, but in this case 295 I'm actually increasing, I'm rounding up to 300. In this case it's much more difficult uh, to try to figure out is my estimate or my exact greater than or lower than my estimate. However, it's still a good indicator when you're fi when you're finished with your algorithm, which I'm not going to do. It's still a great indicator whether or not you're in the ballpark. Okay, so that's the deal. That's what we worked on today. Okay, take care. Thanks. Bye bye.